Hi everyone, this is Christina from Sweet Pea Births, and this week we're going to talk about the importance of protein in your healthy pregnancy diet. Now, Dr. Brewer uh, designed the pregnancy nutrition program that we teach to all of our Bradley Method students, and this year I'm making it available because I think that everybody should be able to take advantage of this great nutrition. So why protein? Protein is a building block of your baby. It provides all the amino acids necessary to build your baby's brain, bones, teeth, muscles, everything. And we know that inadequate protein intake can lead to fatigue, swelling, and a lack of appetite. So if you are tired in your pregnancy, if you find yourself swelling, if you're and not hungry, try upping your protein and see if that helps. Now we encourage our students to find protein that is as close to uh, eating, like for example, like cows weren't made to eat corn, you know, so find if you can find some free range meat uh, and truly free range, organic is usually the best if you can manage that. Um, so free range meats and or you know eating at least what nature intended them to eat if you're not going to buy organic. Uh, also uh, try to find alternative sources that aren't genetically modified. So find legumes, quinoa. Most people will gravitate towards tofu if they don't eat meat. And I'm here to tell you that uh, soybeans are one of the most genetically modified crops. So if you can find, again, that's one thing to, it's worth to find money in your budget to buy organic, non-GMO tofu if you can do that, okay? And the last thing I want to say is you can add protein to your family's diet by making something like a chicken broth every week. You know, a great one of my students shared this great tip with our classes is that she takes a whole chicken and she, you know, puts it in a, in a pot at the beginning of the week. She'll boil it for two hours, take the chicken out, strip all the meat, then return the bones to the stock water that she had started with two tablespoons of vinegar to finish leaching out all the calcium she can out of those bones. And so now you have a rich chicken stock to use for all your cooking for the rest of the week. So whether you're gonna use it as a base for soups, whether you're gonna cook your beans or your rice or your spaghetti in it, you have extra calcium and protein going into all your food for the week, all right? So listen, I look forward to seeing you next week when we talk about our next nutrition focus, which is greens. Have a great week.